One other thing for you, if you're kind of coming from the tech space and trying to break into the pharmacy market is that you may be asking yourself, hey, I want to make connections, um, you know, within different organizations of pharmacy. And you may be familiar with like the medical associations and some of them, um, you know, you have the American College of Cardiology, which is more specifically focused on cardiology, obviously, um, American Diabetes Association, things like that. And then you have the American Medical Association. Um, the weird part is pharmacy actually has a bunch of different organizations, societies. It is confusing. Uh, there might be up to 20 different organizations out there. Um, you're talking about the American Pharmacists Association. You got the American Society for Pharmacy Law, American Society for Consultant Pharmacists, American Society for Health System Pharmacists, uh, American College of Clinical Pharmacy, American College of Psychiatric and Neurologic Pharmacists, um, National Association of Specialty Pharmacy, National Association of Chain Drug Stores, is a lot. And you may be behooved to say, well, I'll just reach out to all of them, which you shouldn't because each one actually has a specialty area focus. You may be looking at uh, payers, so you want to go to AMCP. You may be wanting to look for more clinical services, so maybe it's APHA, maybe it's ASCP, maybe it's hospital, maybe it's ASHP, um, maybe it's automation. So it's there's a bunch of different organizations out there, basically. So what you're really getting at is that you have to kind of identify who do you want to partner with and go to. Maybe you want to just like vendor your product at a conference. Well, which conference should you go to? That's why I think like having a pharmacist on your team can help you navigate that, at least give you some insight into where you might want to go to, who you want to partner with, or who should you reach out to. Because one of the, things, uh, the added benefits is it. I mean, pharmacy tends to be its own niche area. So if you just randomly reach out and you may make a gaffe and you may, you know, annoy someone, they may not want to talk to you versus having pharmacists who's kind of familiar with the jargon, with the relationships out there, maybe you're a better person to perform such outreaches. So keep in mind that there's a bunch of organizations out there. They're not all the same. They all have different constituents, members, and different goals. And you may find yourself f uh, focused on several of them, um, maybe just one. But you got to really kind of navigate which one fits your kind of need. And that's why I would argue like having that kind of pharmacist on your team to help figure that stuff out may be very beneficial to you.